Monsieur Trudel. To Mr. Jans for six minutes or less, please. Minister, your Liberal government and the Harper Conservatives have spent, since I last checked three years ago, over $19 million just in legal fees fighting the new town of people in court, denying their fishing rights. For the third time on April 19th, the higher courts, courts reaffirmed the rights of these nations to viable commercial fisheries. Will you, your government and the prime minister finally back up your commitments to reconciliation and affirm that this government will not appeal the most recent ruling because we know you have to decide within the next couple of weeks. And will your government actually get on with the implementation of their rights so that their fishers can get back on the water and contribute to their coastal, to our coastal economy? Uh, thank you for the question. And I would say that Canada has been working collaboratively with the five New Chalmers nations uh, to advance reconciliation in the area of collaborative governance, um, increased fishing access and community based fisheries. So we signed an incremental agreement with um, the five nations in September of 2019. Uh, we continue to work closely with them on their comprehensive reconciliation agreement. Uh, of course, we want to make sure that we see First Nations out on the water. Uh, we are currently, as, as you know, Mr. Johns, um, reviewing the, the court decision and, and we'll have more to say on that. I, I appreciate that. Minister, these are a lot, of, it takes a lot of documents to prepare an appeal. You would have a good idea now whether you're going to take that on and appeal. I'm not asking this question because the new Chalmers are satisfied with what's happening at the table or not happening at the table. I'm asking you a question. Are you going to respect the courts instead of continuing to spend taxpayers' money fighting Indigenous people in court? I would say that we um, are still reviewing the decision. We are still uh, in going, we are, we are looking at this. We will have more to say on it in the near future. Uh, but, you know, I mean, our government and my department has been working very diligently to make sure that we can get fishers out on the water. While we're talking about Indigenous fishers, have you got a safety plan in place to protect Mi'kmaq fishers that are afraid right now? They're, they've told me they are afraid to go out and exercise their right to a moderate livelihood because your government has failed to protect them. Have you got a plan in place to protect them? Thank you for the question. You know, this is an issue that is extremely um, uh, challenging. There's no question, it's complex. Uh, we, nobody wants to see a repeat of what happened last year in the, uh, the, the, with First Nations on the East Coast exercising their moderate livelihood. Um, we, of course, will have CMP officers uh, on the water. Uh, we will also have Coast Guard. We will also have our CMP who have been uh, deployed to that area if, if needed. Um, and these are all put in place to protect all fishers to make sure that you know people are able to work safely